Over the last 30 days, we've taken a look at the S6 Edge, and today I'm going to give you my thoughts after using this device for more than a month, talking about the things that I really like, some of the things I don't like, and just giving a general overall opinion of what it feels like using the S6 Edge for you know, quite a while instead of just the two week standard review period. So let's jump in and find out more about the S6 Edge in 30 days. <music> Samsung has done a good job in crafting a very slick device. The dual, cur the dual curved uh, 2K display is nice to look at. And also the build of this device is just premium from the metallic edges to the glass back. Some of the improvements that I do like I want to start off with is actually the fingerprint sensor, which is just easier to access and open and unlock, giving you fast fluidity and jumping into touch is you notice it's just much faster. It gives you a much faster performance opening things like the camera app is really easy by just double clicking the home button which again is another improved shortcut now the camera app itself has been streamlined making it for a better shooting performance you can easily just turn it on and capture a photo immediately but one of the things you will like is the pro mode which will give you some expanded functionality giving allow you to take better images and photos on this device now talking about it, video here this is a sample from the 4k uh, capture of this camera and definitely check out check out the full video it does a very good job especially while walking around now looking at images you can see that it does a very good job in capturing the essence of an image and also it depend, even in in different lighting conditions you can see how clear and crisp it is uh, Samsung does a very good job in capturing colors although some of the colors still tend out tend to be oversaturated now the dynamic range of uh, the camera that's 60 megapixel shooter with OIS really does a good job in getting a lot of detail and also some of the shadow elements to it so you can see a whole lot about your image in one grasp and low light photography is excellent with this camera it's one of the best out there i think samsung has really put a lot of effort into making this a really solid camera for you and that's one of the things i do like because the camera itself is good uh the camera app is also very solid and easy to access now some of the other software improvements here or additives are the themes now i'm not a very big theme person but i do like the fact that i i can download different custom themes from the store I can set it up and I can customize the look of my device in any way form or fashion so that's something that I think a lot of people will definitely enjoy now applying these themes are pretty easy it's pretty much just a one or two click process and once you do that it changes the overall look of your device giving you something that is sharp snappy and with some really good performance altogether. And one of the things I do like about theming is it doesn't slow down the experience of TouchWiz, it just changes the look of TouchWiz. And I think this is a good step for Samsung. Now it might not be for everyone, but it's something that I've come to enjoy and like. Now let's talk about battery. Now this device has a, I believe a 2600 uh, milliamp battery here, smaller battery, of course, with a, a sharper display. This is where Samsung has brought in some alternatives, wireless charging, as well as fast charging. As as you guys know, I'm a big fan of wireless chargers. So for me, I love the fact that I can place my device and wireless charge. I have wireless chargers everywhere. So that is great, which means I can still extend my device for over 24 hours with wireless charging. So that really goes a long way for me. And it also will help a lot of people in extending the use case scenarios for the S6 Edge. Um, there's also the fast charging where you, of course, you can plug your device in using a fast charger, something like a Qualcomm 2.0 quick charger or the provided charger. And you can see it tells you fast charging is, is also set up on this device. Still, it would have been nice to have a bigger battery in there or at least a removable battery where a lot of people will be able to use that. Uh, the overall build of the device is wonderful. I love holding it. I love using it. I think Samsung has done a lot of good things there. One thing that I'll say that I was uh, slightly disappointed on was the lack of micro SD expansion. So there's no way to actually put a micro SD card in there. And for a while, I thought this was going to be a deal break it for me because as you can see you can't actually access anything in the back you can't remove the camera but you know what I got used to it um, the fact that it does come with 32 gigabytes of storage standard is fine and also you do have 100 gigabytes of cl uh, cloud storage uh, through OneDrive still it would have been nice to put a micro SD card expansion in there and something that I would still hold Samsung responsible for if you will the other thing too is also this device isn't waterproof um, at least it's not 
state as being water resistant and that's something that i think it was a departure from the s5 which i think they should have continued to hold, hold and have here but overall i do like this device over 30 days i've got great performance off the lt chipset i've got solid performance on the device gaming on many aspects the only thing i wish it had was micro sd other than that i really can't complain about it uh the one more thing i will want to add of course are the s6 edge features uh this is something that i wish was more pronounced now I, grant, I understand Samsung has made it limited and light to, so as not to make it uh, confusing or maybe too, uh, uh, too tasking to touch with. But I think they could have done more with it and that's something that hopefully they can improve with software improvements uh, overall. So overall, the S6 Edge is one lovely device from top to bottom. I think it's something that I can appreciate very well after 30 days. Yes, I don't get the over 24 hours of battery life, which you can say it's a downer, but I do have options to keep my battery running and flowing all day uh, for my use. Uh, there is no micro SD card expansion, but Samsung has looked into that by giving me more storage on the device and also giving me 100 gigabytes of storage on OneDrive, which I use constantly so I do like those trade-offs there uh, the LT chipset is fast and sharp the Exynos processor works very well and gaming on there is spectacular and of course the camera is phenomenal it's one of the nice selling points of the device but even on the edge features which I mentioned that yeah I wish there was more there what I do like about the S6 edge is just actually the look I love the look and the feel I love when I hold it in my hands it feels a certain way and I use it that way but over Overall, this is a solid all-round top-tier device uh, from Samsung. So that's my thoughts on the S6 Edge after 30 days uh, or more. It's been more than 30 days. So if you have any questions, guys, or any comments, let us know. Um, leave your comments down below, your questions down below. Also, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and favorite this video so we can make more videos for you. Do subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.